Hello everyone, this is the 2023 LEGO Ninjago set called Cole's Earth Dragon Evo. It comes with 285 pieces. It cost me $35 US and if you're interested in it, you can find it tagged on the video. There are two minifigures here and a side build and we'll look at those later. First though, the dragon itself. When I saw this, I immediately felt it had captured the ugly cute aesthetic really, really well with that large stubby head. Now this is a very specialized piece here, but it does have a bunch of stuff added onto it. And you've got a different style of dragon head on the un underside used for the, the mouth so the jaw can open and close. But as I start to see this in person fully built up, it took on a different feeling entirely because look at how long it gets. That's different huh uh all right the tail has an interesting look to it i like this curve right here the legs don't look good to me at all yeah i am getting straight into my opinions with this because they're actually rather strong and kind of dominate what i have to say about this set the winglets out here i mean it's an earth dragon it's not intended to really fly all that much and even if it is you know you use a little bit of magic and just imagine that this would actually work that's cool and all these front legs are on ball joints but then the ankles are hinged they're just on ratchet hinges so you don't get a whole lot of usable range of motion there especially with the long claws can't really can't really balance there like that so you're not able to honestly do a whole lot with with these the rear limbs are more limited in that because they have ball joints for the ankles but then you've only got in and out splaying oops that just popped off let's try from this side yeah splaying in and out and then this goes up and down but then kind of goes on its toes if you want that to be up at all so the 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 end effect of all the joints on here is not very good because check this out the head doesn't move the jaw is able to open and close and also scooch forward and back but that's that's the end of it there's nothing else articulation wise for the head here so this is this is it this is it i can get it to rear up a little bit that's useful i can get it down to the ground and that's it and it has this very awkward body well we can do something about the body because this is an evo kit and it's designed to be played with quickly by young kids who are relatively impatient and want to get to playing with the thing without going through the entire build so i'm pulling i'm pulling i'm pulling and there <laughs> there's the evo connection point all of this center body section is its own add-on. And when you first build this, it doesn't have the wings, it doesn't have the horns, and it doesn't have that extra length of body. So you're able to get to playing with it more like this more quickly. I'll just take one of the horns off so you can see what that looks like. Yeah, just more, more simple. Now, this makes a little bit more sense to me with that ugly, cute aesthetic again, just, you know, all stumpy, but it's still really missing articulation. I need to at least rotate the head this way side to side so it can kind of look up at me to the side and it's not able to do that uh, fortunately durability here for most things is is decent for play you can move the tail around uh, on one axis and uh, you can't rotate it here but it does have also this ball joint back here so you can do something with that these spines can be moved in and out if you want to make it look a little bit more aggressive a little bit more aggro that's useful i think Otherwise, um, yeah, this is its smaller form for the most part. It's a little bit, a little bit awkward with its shaping and not being able to adjust the angles of the rear legs forward and back is not good. Snapping that into place gives you this lengthened body and a place to actually sit because you don't have that otherwise. You don't have the, the kind of saddle spot. You've got the nice banner there. It gives you a power up use your imagination what the rules are for that coming into play but you know it's a print uh, otherwise got a couple stickers on either side really nice head again good horns most of the rest kind of disappointing to me for play and display both this side build is a bad guy thing of course it's like a inner skeleton exoskeleton scorpion thing the bad guy rides on it he doesn't really fully integrate with it i don't know if he's using some sort of telekinetic or psycho powers of some sort but uh, this is able to come up and down just a little bit it's mostly just a mobility device for him and it's nice to get these um, chima arachnid parts in the white color there which is just 
probably one of the more useful colors for it. You can get this to stand up. You can get it to be on a limited number of its of its uh, legs at one time. Yeah, yeah so it's, it's useful enough. And then here are the figures Coal and Bone Scorpio on the right. Nope, that is not a glow-in-the-dark mouthpiece with the the underbite on it. It's just the spring green color. Sometimes folks mistake that. Also, the weapons are not, a, not able to glow, although there's one page in the instructions that kind of suggests that they can, but they don't. It's just white pieces. But I think both of these figures look really good. They have a good amount of, of printing on them. You know, Cole's printing goes all the way down. A little bit of depth in the in the print showing the the under the armor underneath of his his outer thinner gi and everything. Yeah, I'm happy with these for sure. Interesting stuff, good printing around the back. There's the rest of everything. No alternate face for the skull dude, of course, because of the style of headgear that they use. And this is what they look like from the front with the faces exposed. That could have been definitely a more opaque print there. Yeah, you can see it now a lot more clearly. That is supposed to be the same color as this, or at least something close. And it's pretty far off, you know, it's a little bit too thin. Plenty of leftover pieces though, especially those bone weapons. They come in a large pack, so you're going to see something similar to this with all of the sets from this wave. And then this is what the sticker sheet looked like. Oh, it's pretty simple. Again, the price I paid was $35 US. It is 35 euros or 30 pounds UK. And for the amount of stuff here in 2023, that doesn't feel terrible. It doesn't feel terrible at all. And, and you know, volume, uh, price to volume of stuff ratio, decent. 30 would be an ideal price, uh, if, if you ask me, Ooh, ideal reasonable price. But ultimately, I feel like the set just isn't good. I don't recommend it, personally. I like this right here, the head. If the head could actually move, it would be significantly better. But behind that, the I guess the center core of the body of the main build in this is nice. It's solid, has respectable building techniques for a 7 plus set, especially. And behind that, it just kind of falls apart, in my opinion. So. Those are my thoughts. Sorry, a little bit disappointed. If you like it, that's great. I don't hold it against you whatsoever, but I have to tell you how I personally feel based on my experience of reviewing lots and lots and lots of sets and just how I feel about this one in particular. Thank you for watching and I hope this provided some kind of value to you. I will talk to you again very soon.